Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and I know there's a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. <laughs> We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children, and John and, and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we got to let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Huh. <laughs> of course, pal. Pal. Whatever you... Think it's best. I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Why did I unlock something in a cutscene? So we're fucked. Ah, yeah, this this is like the last mission or something. So yeah. Be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do Easy. it. Easy. Sure, I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Get the dynamite.
Nice. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this is still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. It started with a train and it ended with one. Welcome to Lemoyne. Oh, don't bring it back to me. As good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys. Okay, now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? We you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know where we're going. Here we go. Cutscene right. time. Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. They know they fucked up. Everybody mount up. We still going through with this. Of course we are. <laughs> this is not good. Come on, Arthur. We got to get on that train. Jump to train. You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front. We gotta push 
Oh shit, it's lagging a bit. I think my computer wants a rest. What's happening over there? Let's get to the next camp. Let's keep moving. Oh damn, that guy! How long is this train? Oh god damn, do I see dynamite? Still a little bit of Dutch. Holy shit. Fucking hell. One last Arthur. I'm going to quick scope these motherfuckers to hell. Oh. Oh, it's lag. I got it, I got it. On the land. Oh, his head. Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> nice shot. Plant a dynamite. Here we go. We got something. We got something. Catch. There's more. Ah. How did the driver die exactly? <laughs> oh shit! Jesus. We're alive. Yeah, just about. Well, let's move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha, ha. Red Dead Redemption, oh shit, this is the last mission. Fuck. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur, but he is right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Hey. Take this. You take this money too. Oh shit. And you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll I'll miss Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler. Ride with me. <laughs> Why the screaming? If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon you should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Oh well. Friends 
rich child so long as he gets rich? All this goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Drake. God's Sorry plan. you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John and Abigail and Jack, and Jack out, of out of this mess. And give him to give him a laugh. laugh. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will we'll be, be okay. okay. John, my Isaiah. Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're going to make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. the horses and come up with a plan. Oh. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get Why would I get on top of the lighthouse? Why is there even a lighthouse on a on a riverbed? Or the side of the river? I I don't know. Is that common? She's going for it. Stand still, guys. Did she die? Are you kidding me? Why did she die? What the fuck? I could not find anyone in my scope.
Where is she? I just have to follow her, okay? I won't fill them. Ooh. What was that? I can't do anything. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Where did he come from? Wow, because of the crate? the hip bitch kick the door okay, ladies, let's get out. oh she's tied up mr. Milton Calm down mr. Morgan mr. Milton a cough. <laughs> sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. <coughs> we offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> you should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have. Quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Strength, 
Mr. Morgan? You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Mill. Abigail. Horrible man. <laughs> now come on, both of you. He's exerting himself too much. It's my horse. You'll be okay. Oh, now. Look out ahead on the left. You can all go to hell. Headshot. Oh, look at his hair. <laughs> look at this man's hair. You see those on our right? Oh, that's the horse. You all right, Abigail? I think so. Shit, more on the right. Woo! I caved his face in. The soundtrack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. John. Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. 
One last time. And the music comes in with great text. I've heard this song before. Who's left? Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch, think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Oh shit. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John! You left me! You left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You, I didn't have a choice. You slapped me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Now! Who amongst you is with me? And 
who is betraying me. Well, I'm here. Think, think for yourself. <coughs> He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. Oh shit. You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down. Ross is still alive. This is just fucked. We're going, we're going. Fucking fuck. We can see Dutch on the map. Come on, get up. I'm running. Don't mind me. Almost up. I know the money was in there. Abigail, Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. They're shooting at us. The audacity. Fuckers. I'm not going to shoot anymore. I'm not going to make it. But I need to. Oh, shit. The horse. Come on, brother. Let's go. Replacement number four. Come on. Push Arthur. Thank you. Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? 
Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. Come on. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Penny. Oh, Penny. Let's go. Penny. Penny. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about that. I actually wanted to see if a third option came available, but okay. We need to get the hell out of here. I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Benny, Benny, Benny. <laughs> Ah, my aim. Micah. I can do it. Thank you. 
I have to break free. Break free! Break it! I can't! Not again! Yeah. All there is winning and losing. Oh, Black Lung. You ain't going to reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Yeah, Marker. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I won. It's over now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! It's over.
Ah, the symbol again. The deer. What the fuck is happening over there? The wheel. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral code. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well... Maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad <laughs> influence on your mother, boy. Okay. Well, but I'm gonna leave it at this. So, till the next one. You're a bad influence on your mother. With your book. books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Bob. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? We don't want Jack falling out and hitting his head again. Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. Oh, King Arthur. And the Lady Guinevere. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. You was gonna say there's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot. Why don't you pull up just here? I think you were saying something. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. 
Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Go to the doctor's office to meet with Abigail. Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. And what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Return to your wagon. Okay. to do something okay Bam! Did I lose something? Oh! Yeah, we're almost there. Again? No, sir. 
Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, losing business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Oh, 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 oh. That's my damn wagon. Come on. At least I got it. Hey, the fence. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns. What is it? Epilogue part one? Yeah, epilogue part one. Pronghorn Ranch. But I'm gonna leave it off right here. Till the next episode. Bye.